Ever wondered what the oldest curse word in English is? Well, it's not as straightforward as you might think. In the grand tapestry of human language, rudeness has been a constant thread. Picture this, it's the 11th century and the word fart is making its debut in the Antwerp London glossaries. If this is accurate, fart could be the oldest known rude word in English. Delve into the book Holish Asterisk T, A Brief History of Swearing and you'll find that only a handful of our favorite obscenities can trace their roots back to the Anglo-Saxon era. These include ass, ash asterisk t, fart, and bollock. Interestingly, these words weren't initially used in a cursing context. Take esh asterisk t, for example. This word, which has Germanic origins meaning dung, first appeared in an old English medical text, Bald's Leech Book, where it was used to refer to diarrhea. It wasn't until the 16th century that it took on a derogatory meaning. Now, what about those modern four-letter words that still have the ability to shock and offend? Their journey into our language was not a straight path. The word C asterisk ninti, used to describe female genitalia, made its first known appearance in the 14th century. Its origins are unclear, but by the 17th century, it became coarse slang and has been causing controversy ever since. The word F asterisk CK, on the other hand, has referred to sexual intercourse since its inception. In 2015, a British historian named Paul Booth discovered a court document from 1310 that contained the name Roger F asterisk Kebithanavale, believed to be a coded insult. This is considered to be the first use of the word F asterisk Siki in a sexual or sweary context. So, there you have it. A brief journey through the history of English curse words. From fart in the 11th century to F asterisk CCKG in the 14th, these words have evolved and adapted, reflecting the changing norms and attitudes of society. Today, there's still a potent tool for expressing emotion, from anger and frustration to shock and disbelief. They are a testament to the power of language and its ability to evolve, shock and yes, even offend.